morning, good morning. Welcome into my channel. Hey, we are just fixing to leave Sault Ste. Marie right now. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it there, but we got some fresh snow on the hood. A little tiny bit of snow, not much. But it doesn't seem to be wet snow this time. At least it seems to be dry snow, but hey, let's put the hammer down. Let's get down the road. Well, Snowmageddy again. Looks like this pretty much every time I come through here. If you watch my videos on a da daily basis and you watch the ones where I've gone through Ontario, this is pretty much what you'll see almost every time in winter time. And it's again snowing. But at least it's not ice raining. That's always a good thing. See, there's always a positive side to a negative side, right? Yep, we are going to work on being more positive. I've been a bit negative in the last little while, so I'm going to try and work real hard at getting back to uh, being positive, you know? But we are getting some miles behind us today still. It's still, uh, you know... And it may look worse on camera than what it probably is, but uh, the road ain't too bad, you know, it's uh, it's not slippery at all, actually, you know. Well, I guess in some places it might be, but uh, for the most part, I haven't noticed anything being slippery yet. But, yeah, so we already passed uh, Wawa, Ontario. Probably got another 45 minutes or maybe half an hour and then we should be in uh, White River, Ontario and that's where we're going to do a pit stop. Uh, you're probably going to become to, to know that place pretty well. I stopped there on a regular basis. I've been there before where you guys probably watched me uh, clean my uh, tail lights on the trailer. Yep. Yeah, I stopped there quite a few times, especially when I come through here. And there's pretty much only two ways you can go uh, go to Toronto, uh, or or maybe three ways, I guess I could say. But there's one way is you go through the United States to go to Toronto from Manitoba, and then another way is go down Highway 17, which I am on right now. And the other way is you come uh, you come down Highway 17 up till uh, Nipigon. And then you go north on Highway 11. So those are the only three options you have pretty much to go to Toronto. Or you can fly there, I guess. But Anyways, that's pretty much what you can do with driving, right? But yeah, it's snowing pretty good here, you know. It's been snowing for the last, I don't know, last three hours, I would say, or two and a half hours. Ever, ever pretty much since I left South St. Marie up there, it's uh, been steadily snowing. It snowed a little bit overnight over there, but not too bad. Yeah, we're going to try and get ourselves a good day worth of driving in today. My goal is to uh, make it up to Dryden, Ontario today. And we will see if that's going to be possible. And if it's at all possible, we will do that. I think we got about 1,070 kilometers or something like that. I haven't looked exactly how far it is up to there, but that was just an estimate, a estimation uh, what I did yesterday. And uh, we'll see. If I can make it up to there, we will. We certainly will. And uh, then we'll do one delivery tomorrow in Winnipeg. We got one drop to make in Winnipeg, and then... Uh, our plan is to meet up with the wife and kids, probably go for lunch somewhere and spend a little bit quality time with them guys. Because as a trucker you don't really get quantity time, you get quality time, that's all you get. And that you're going to have to keep in mind if you want to be a truck driver. You're going to get quality time, not quantity time with your family. That's just the way it is. Especially if you are a long haul driver. Then that's what you can look forward to. But I do enjoy driving. I, I do it. You know. 
and uh, I do I do really enjoy uh, enjoy my job I you know I, I get to see all kinds of different sceneries and different temperatures and different stuff you know you see all kinds of <laughs> fun stuff here on the road happening all the time and weird things sometimes at the truck stops and, you know life is good Anyways, we're gonna put the hammer down and then we will be back in a little bit. Well, here we are. We have made it to White River. Have a look at that mirror. Yeah, you can't see much in there. So we're gonna go clean that and clean our tail lights and all that. And then we'll go grab ourselves a coffee and probably a sandwich or a donut or something like that. And then uh, we will be back on the road. So here's what I got to do. If I want to add uh, windshield washer fluid to my uh, truck, I got to take these two bolts off of here, these ones, this one and this one, and then I can finally drop my uh, moose bumper. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I got this pin right here that I usually take out, and then I unscrew those bolts, and then I can finally open my hood. So let's go ahead and do that. So we got the moose bumper. Uh, all put down but I just figured I'd show you guys I'm parked right beside the tanker here and look at this guy's lights just as I was filming this guy came and did clean his lights yep finished uh, putting all my uh, windshield washer fluid in here now and uh, now I'm gonna go clean my tail lights yeah probably got a little bit of snow back here again that's not bad actually you know eh, looks a little worse underneath there but not too shabby, you know. So we'll go do that and then uh, we will be back. Well, let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like I got quite a bit of snow on here. I already cleaned this side of tail lights, but didn't do this side yet, so we're going to do that. Well, here we go. We got ourselves a uh, rub and donut, coffee. And uh, I was just looking underneath my trailer and I figured I would show you guys a little bit of something here. Just take a look. Look at all the uh, snow buildup in between these uh, rails. I guarantee you that that is a few hundred pounds hanging underneath the trailer. So if you're uh, one of those guys that's got a heavy load on there, you probably want to clean that off because that probably put you over overweight, you know? But anyways, we're going to get going here. I don't know about you guys, but I am having a fantastic Saturday. Nice and sunny. The roads are a little bit wet, but other than that, I am having a fantastic Saturday. Yep. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the lake is right up ahead there. That's beautiful. Partially frozen, partially not. Construction ahead. Oh yeah. It's a nice uh, big lake. This lake goes all the way up there to Thunder Bay. The big ships come right up to Thunder Bay, I heard, a long time ago. before Thunder Bay and now we're gonna go put the hammer down again yeah uh, it's salt, a lot of salt on the truck here so my windshield keeps getting dark you know but uh, if you guys just finished watching that clip about that truck that just came onto the highway there without looking I am telling you, people like that, in my opinion, should not be truck drivers. That's why this trucking job is dangerous out here. And the reason why I'm going out a little bit further this way is because I wanted to show you this trailer right here. They got a chapel up here, mobile chapel, right here. Yeah. That looks good. Doesn't look like they ever use it, but well, actually there is a four-wheeler sitting there, so must be a pastor or a preacher or something in there. Well, that's good. 
But anyways, as I was finished saying that, uh, in my opinion, people like that should not be out here on the road. They're just making it super, super dangerous, you know? He came out of the uh, Nipigon, uh, Ontario truck stop, and they got a Tim Hortons in there. And I bet you anything, he was probably uh, just, you know, zipping on his coffee and not looking to see if anybody was coming, you know? I mean, I literally had to completely stop just for him to cross the road there so he could get on the highway there, you know? I mean, luckily, right there, the speed limit is already reduced and I was going on my speed limit. They got 70 kilometers an hour speed limit up there and that's what, what I was doing. And he just, you know, decided to come right on the highway there. I mean, just just barely missed me, you know. I just barely was able to slow down enough that that he didn't hit me there. But yeah, that was uh, that was quite scary there. But luckily, I was, uh, you know, able to turn my camera on just on time. I just, you know. I wasn't sure if he was going to do it, but it looked like he was, and then I just figured I'd turn my camera on just to make sure, you know. And luckily I did. Slammed around the brakes, and uh, that's what happened. But that's just the way it goes out here sometimes, you know. Sometimes uh, people make mistakes or whatever, you know. I don't think I ever do anything like that, stupid like that. I mean, he could clearly see me coming, right? I mean, how can you miss a big truck, you know? But anyways, let's continue on. We, uh, we're having a very good day so far. At least that's a positive sight. We are having an excellent day today, actually. We're getting good, uh, good mileage in. Fuel mileage, you know, we won't talk too much about that, but <laughs> other than that, we're doing good. Well, it is good evening. I have officially finished for the day. And it is bitter, bitter cold up here in Dryden, Ontario. That's where I'm going to be spending the night. And it is supposed to go down to 33, minus 33 Celsius tonight, which is minus 27 Fahrenheit. And that is just what the temperature is supposed to be. That is not even with the windshield yet. It's going to be colder with the windshield. So I'm really hoping that everybody is going to be prepared for tonight. That they put some additive in their uh, fuel and that they won't be freezing up and that they will also be warm inside the truck because I can almost guarantee you by tomorrow morning there is going to be somebody up here frozen up I can almost bet money on it I've seen it so many times yeah so uh, for me I got an APU unit and I got a bunk heater in here and as you can see I'm nice and comfortable in here right now and that is because I do have a bigger bunk heater than the average person has in their truck because I know from experience I've driven for several guys and they all had just a regular bunk heater which they call D2 and I have a D4 bunk heater in here, which is capable of twice the size of heating. So it can be bloody cold and I never get cold in here. So far, I've, it's never gotten to the point where I had to actually start out my truck and keep warm in here. It's always kept me warm. Yep, but lots of guys don't have that. So they're probably gonna be idling their truck tonight. But uh, hey, I put some kerosene in my uh, diesel, I fueled up, I'm pretty much all the way fueled. I've only driven a couple of hours after I fueled. So I should be good, right? At least that's what the plan is. We shall see tomorrow, I guess, but uh, <sighs> I've shut off my truck before when it's this cold and uh, didn't have any problems at that time. So uh, I'm going to keep our fingers crossed that that ain't going to happen this time either. So uh, with that, we're going to call it a night we shall see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. 
So somewhere down there below, there is a subscription button. If you haven't hit that already, please do so and follow me on my journey across Canada and the United States. I won't say North America because that includes Mexico, right? So uh, I don't go there. I don't want to either. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways give me the thumbs up share the video because if you watched it and you liked it i'm sure somebody else liked it as well so with that have a fantastic day we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m